we're in Safety Harbor, Florida this weekend. This is the cutest little town. There is a saying here that a lot of people come for the spa, but they stay for the small town atmosphere. So yes, there's an amazing spa here. I'll show you that later. Right behind me is beautiful historic Main Street in Safety Harbor. We are about to go get coffee at this really cute place right behind me, um, Cafe Vino. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, so we'll ask, but um, super cute. So we are starting with coffee and then Main Street has all sorts of adorable shops and things to do. There's also a couple of breweries here and we really lucked out because there is a waterfront festival. I already forgot the name of it. I had just looked it up before we started filming it, but it's a waterfront seafood and art festival. So food trucks are already set up. It's around 11 o'clock. So we're gonna get coffee, get up the food trucks or maybe a restaurant. Whatever it is, you will be coming with us. <laughs> As I mentioned, our first stop was coffee. We got our coffee from Cafe Vino Tinto, and I did forget to mention that this footage is from February. That explains my long sleeve dress, but I also mentioned that because Cafe Vino Tinto has specialty lattes. On this day, it was a red velvet latte for Valentine's Day, and it was so delicious. I love when coffee shops have their own specialty lattes because it gives me something new and unique to try that other places just don't have. So that is my favorite thing about this cafe. They have indoor and outdoor seating, it's dog friendly and the employees are great as well and it's definitely a favorite among the locals. We happened to be visiting on a Sunday so they were having their weekly market which is held every Sunday from 9 to 1.30. The market has handcrafted items, food vendors, just things that you would expect from a market but it's a really well done market. They do take a break during the hottest days of summer, so be on the lookout for the market to reopen in September. And if you're wandering Main Street like we were, you'll naturally stumble on it. But if you want to drive straight to the destination, it's located at 400 Main Street. Safety Harbor is one of those towns that you can just wander and you'll be entertained or you'll find something you love. Every time we come to Safety Harbor, we find something new to explore. It really is such a charming little town. I don't know if I have any Gilmore Girls fans watching my videos, but one of my friends told me that it reminds her of Stars Hollow, and I think that that's a perfect description, honestly. The Safety Harbor Spa is right behind me. This is what brings most people into town, but like I mentioned earlier, they stay for that small town charm. So this is right on the water, and when you book a service, so things like a manicure, a pedicure, a massage, you get access to the spa all day long with that. Also, you can pay $30 and you can have that same access. You can buy a $30 day pass, so you'll get access to the sauna, the spa, the pools. They have three. One's indoor, one's outdoor. I can't remember right now what the third one is, but also a hot tub. And it's built on a natural, like, mineral water, so a lot of people feel like the water has healing powers. Back when it was first discovered, it was actually called the Fountain of Youth. They thought that they had literally discovered the Fountain of Youth. Um, and maybe not quite that magical, but a lot of people definitely feel like the water is healing. I'll let you decide. We're not going to go inside today. This is kind of an all-day thing if you want to go there. At least it is to us. We love hopping from pool to pool, from indoor to outdoor. There's food on site as well. So we'll show that to you one day, but it'll be an all day thing. And we are, there's so much to explore here today that it's hard to make time for both. So stay tuned for a future video there, but definitely check it out. It's very relaxing. <laughs> The Safety Harbor Spa is at the very end of Main Street, right on the water. And right behind the spa, you're going to find the Safety Harbor Fishing Pier. We walked the pier on this morning and we were so excited to see a pod of dolphins.
In the same area is the pier, you'll find the Waterfront Park, which is a huge open area. It's literally called the Safety Harbor Waterfront Park. Um, the festival that we attended was located at this park on the weekend that we visited. You can see it's a huge open area, which is good because these festivals can get really busy. So it's nice that there's areas to just spread out. And you can see that there are plenty of vendors from food trucks. It was a seafood festival, so there were a lot of seafood food trucks to art and craft vendors and plant vendors. There's a little bit of everything. It was a really cool festival. And like I said, they do regularly have festivals here and I definitely recommend checking them out. In the same area is the pier and the waterfront park is a little nature boardwalk trail. So the whole trail is boardwalk and it goes in and out of the mangroves with beautiful views of the water. So not only will you have views of the water, but you can see a lot of nature as well. It's just a really cool opportunity to really get out in nature, even though you're kind of in the middle of this town. So that's another one of those unique things about Safety Harbor that I love and I highly recommend checking it out. After exploring the pier in the market, we headed back towards Main Street. All of the stores here really have their own unique style and I really liked popping into a few of them. It would really be fun to come back for a girl's day and do some more shopping. That's something I really love about Safety Harbor. It's a good fit for pretty much any group of people. You can make it kid friendly, it can be good for a girl's getaway or a good romantic weekend as well. There truly is a little bit of something for everybody and there's so much to do in such a small town that you can really make it whatever you want it to be. We were on our way to Whimsyland and I'll talk about what Whimsyland is in a minute because we do go there as well. But on the way we stumbled on this place, which is the Safety Harbor Art and Music Center. I had never even heard of it and I feel so lucky that we happened to find it because it was definitely one of our favorite things that we did on this day. This place is so cool. I feel like the videos do speak for themselves, but basically it's a nonprofit art center. The goal is to let kids connect to art and adults who want to bring out that childlike energy as well connect to art. They have art classes, music events, summer camps, and more. We just kind of walked through and were captivated. They do have some things for sale as you can see here, but overall it's just a really cool place to walk around. That is their outdoor music venue. You can sit under these trees which even have art in them. It's just such a cool place. This might look like the same place, but it's not. It is different. This is Whimsyland. And Whimsyland is someone's private property that they've decorated and shared with the world. Whimsyland has been this family's art project for over 20 years, and it's really been a landmark, not only for Safety Harbor, but across Tampa Bay. Now people come from all over to visit Whimsyland, and it's easy to see why. So basically, the couple who lives here has traveled all over seeking unique places, and those travels inspired them to transform their house. But what really got the ball rolling, and that's kind of a pun, because what got the ball rolling was they went to a flea market and brought home free bowling balls. You'll see these bowling balls along the perimeter of the house, but there's a lot more than just those bowling balls now, as you can see. The house and the whole yard is brightly decorated with sculptures and trinkets, all sorts of things. You really can't help but be happy here. It's such a cool place. Entrance is free, just be respectful because as I mentioned, it is their home, it is where people live. There are a lot of great places to eat in Safety Harbor and I want to go back and try every single one of them, but when you're only there for one day, you can only try so many places. Um, we had lunch at Whistle Stop and it was great. I would definitely go back and definitely would recommend it. 
The drinks were phenomenal and the food was great too. I also loved their atmosphere. It was like a covered outdoor space, which is great for the Florida heat, as well as for those Florida storms that you never know when they're gonna hit. Safety Harbor has two breweries and we went to Troubled Waters Brewing because we had not been there before. We have previously been to Crooked Thumb Brewing and it's amazing. I highly recommend both. Troubled Waters Brewing had a good atmosphere and good beer. They also have a good location because they're right next to that downtown area on Main Street. So it's right in all of the action. But if you have time for both breweries, I do recommend both. I love them both quite a bit. Safety Harbor is great for a day trip, a weekend trip, or however much time you really want to spend there. I feel like we really packed a lot into one day and hopefully this video really made you want to visit. If it did, let me know in the comments. As always, I appreciate you being here and we'll see you next time. Film so you walking or just a sign and then you walk? Go. Can I get a picture of both of you? Oh, sure. Oh, <laughs> sure.